It's the party season and Pat's feeling a bit left out. EastEnders is in half an hour here on BBC One. But first, forget the ratings war. This is much more serious. This is Ant, a big fan of EastEnders. This is Dick, massive fan of Holby City. And if you're a fan of both of those shows, you're going to love tonight's edition of... Friends Like These! <laughs> Special friends like these. The show where two teams battle it out over a series of challenges to win a seriously fantastic holiday. Let me stop you there because this week things are a little bit different. It's not a team of girls against a team of boys. No, no, it's a celebrity special with EastEnders versus Holby City. And because our teams are not playing to win holidays for themselves. No, they can afford their own. Yes. Jack, they're playing <laughs> for holidays for a charity of their choice. So let's meet this week's teams. First up, it's the gang from Holby City. <laughs> I see we haven't been introduced, have we, I'm Jazz? You certainly are, played by Angela Griffin, Holby City's team captain tonight. Next up is senior staff nurse Julie Fitzjohn, played by Nicola Stevenson. Julie's very unflappable, which is another bonus for the Holbys tonight. Jeremy Edwards plays Danny Shaughnessy, the fellow with an eye for the ladies, uh, which is good because he's surrounded by ladies tonight. Fourth on the team, new girl on Otto Ward, dedicated paediatric nurse Kerry McGrath, played by the lovely Anna Mountford. And finally, Lisa Faulkner is Victoria Merrick. With a steady hands and eagle eyes of a surgeon, a perfect choice for friends like these. Oi! EastEnders, be afraid! Be very afraid! Let's go, the City Gang! Hello, guys. Welcome to Friends Like These. Hi. It looks like we'll be all right if anybody trips over tonight. We've got it covered. We've got the medical situation covered. But what we want to know, who are you playing for tonight? We are playing for the Full Circle Youth and Family Project in Bristol. Uh, they help young people go on holiday when they can't. A very worthy cause. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Do you think they can do it, everybody? Yeah! Well, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see, because let's meet who they're up against. It's the team from EastEnders! Yeah! First up then, Captain Natalie Cassidy, who plays Sonia. She's used to getting her own way, so should make herself heard within the team tonight. James Alexander, who plays sharp-tongued Martin Fowler, who has the attitude to handle anything that crosses his path. Hannah Waterman plays Laura Bonani, who looks after Ian Beale's kids, but would rather like to look after Ian Beale as well. Charlie Brooks' character Janine is another tough cookie. Janine is both strong and scheming, just the qualities we need on friends like these. And Sylvester Williams is cool, smooth-talking music lover Mick McFarlane. And a cool head is exactly what we need tonight. Holy City! You can be casual tonight! <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Friends Like These, you lost. Now, as we said before, you're not playing for yourselves. Who are you playing for tonight? We are playing for the Children's Country Holiday Fund she in London. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm with you tonight. I'll be rooting for you. Can the EastEnders lock through it, everybody? Well, there are two teams now. Let's find out where the kids they're playing for could be heading off on holiday. Mitch, tell us more. Have a look at this. They could be sailing off to Grand Dorado, Port Zelanda, in Holland for a week of fun, fun, and even more fun. They'll go horse riding, canoeing, biking, ten pin bowling, and sailing. And if that's not enough, they're slap bang next door to Europe's biggest theme park at Efteling. They'll love it, but you've got to win it for them. Well, that is a truly amazing holiday, but I'll tell you something even more amazing. What? That's just the consolation prize. That's right, because EastEnders and Holby, whichever of you wins, the kids from your charity. We'll be heading here. Yep, tonight's winners are sending their group to Destination Imagination Orlando, Florida. Every ride and show will be theirs for the taking so they can splash down, they can turn round, they can stand up and they can take off again and again. In fact, as often as they like in the kids' adventure capital of the USA. And every night it's back to their hotel suites to dream of the next day. Good luck, teams. 
Extra Energy Stains, they're an international drive in the midst of all the theme parks of Orlando. Yes, there are no losers tonight on this special Friends Like These. Everybody's a winner. Except for Ant, he's a bit of a loser. Now, teams, uh, I know you're all desperate to win the best holiday you possibly can for these charities. The first point is up for grabs right away. Mitch, what's challenge one? While Holby City and EastEnders, challenge one is response, a test of reactions and agility. This frame contains 12 light pads which illuminate in random order. As soon as one pad lights up, a player must turn it off by striking it, causing another pad to light up. Whoever turns the most lights off in 60 seconds wins. Well, it seems that's the challenge. It requires lightning, quick reactions and plenty of stamina. You also want a cool customer for this one because going up first for your team is pretty nerve-wracking. So, whose reflexes are quick at the Queen Vic? And who's going to bring the first point home for Holby? For the first time tonight, put your faith in a friend. You're right. First one, <laughs> reaction. Who's going to play the first game for Holby tonight? I am. <laughs> <laughs> the captain, captain up going first. Yeah. Why is that? Because she's um, a cool customer. Yeah. With lightning yeah. reactions. Yeah. That's, well, that's lightning the, reactions. It's the lightning quick reactions, really. What evidence is there in everyday life of her good reactions? Is... That was it. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet, honest. I'm dead, dead quick. Good. <laughs> I think it's going to be a good short tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to this, Angela. Captain Angela. Captain the Angela. secret weapon is going to go first. <laughs> Leave it now. And get Captain the first point. <laughs> Captain Angela over there, Holby City. Who are we going to put up against her? Natalie? We've chosen Sly. Yeah. Sly! Yeah. <laughs> the people's favourite. What are you going for him then? What's his, uh, what's his reactions like? Well, he's very big. He's nice and big, and he's nice and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He's oh. got a head on him. He's sorted. He's, too he's sorted out in the head. Angela's not, you see. Bit scatty. Bit scatty. Yeah, exactly. Well, there oh, you are. I've seen her away. I'm scatty, scatty, scatty. Stop it, you guys. <laughs> well, there you are. We've got Sylvester, Flame of EastEnders, and we've got Angela for Holby City. <laughs> We're we'll going in challenge one and Holby City, you're going first. So, cool and methodical Angela, please take up your challenge. So, listen, nurses, they need quick reactions at, at work, don't they? Yeah, they do, very they need quick to reactions. Be, react to situations. Yeah. How are your reactions? Um, they can be quite good, depending on how tired I am. I'm feeling a bit, a bit jangly, if that's such right. a word. Yeah, I'm a bit jangly now, so I reckon they might be quite good. <laughs> OK, <laughs> why are people <laughs> squeaking? Oh. You ready for it? Yeah. Come on, then, let's turn around and have a look at it. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's dead nice. <laughs> Got to get as many of the lights as you possibly can in the available time. If you get more than them, you've won the point. Right. You ready? Yeah, I You happy? So. <sighs> yeah, I'm ready. The lights are going to start after the third beep. Good luck, Angela. Kay. Here come the beeps. <laughs> and off she goes. Angela off to a flying star, quicker than a crash trolley in the emergency room here. She has a good rhythm going. If she can keep this up, she'll storm for it. So halfway there, the score is 44. Keep going, Ange. Look at that concentration. This is record pace. Come on. Ten seconds left, 74 in the corner. Eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Time up. And that's a fantastic score. Uh, she looks happy to me, and that's gonna make it tough for Sylvester. <laughs> that 
was fantastic. Was that, that was really good. Was it? Really good. That was an average of one and a half per second. Really? Yeah. That's how good. I think it might be enough. Do you? I think so. I think we've got a really good chance. We've got a new round. Give a big hand, Angela, everybody. Extenders get Sly to remove his blindfold and headphones. And those cool CDs we got in the market. Now, Angela was dead quick, managed to extinguish 89 lights. Let's see how Walford do. Sylvester, please take up your challenge. So, if you don't do this challenge, you'll get quite a bit of stick at work. No. No? <laughs> right, you will. <laughs> right, yes. And plus the fact that uh, you'd be beaten by a <clears throat> girl as well. <laughs> but you won't be beaten by a girl. That's that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, it's that's not right. gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen at all. She got a fantastic score. No, I can set the standard. 89. I'm ready for her. 89 she got. 89? 89. 89. Yeah. It's a good score. You've only got to get 90. Can it be done? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bring in the points, home or Walton. Let's get in the position then. Turn you around here. Okay, good luck, dear. 89 to beat. It's a good score. But mm. well, you can better it, can't you? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. You can start after the third beep. Good luck. Here come the beeps. So let's see how quick Sylvester responds. He's taken up Angela's stance, and as now he said, he's a big fella with a big wingspan. Which should help him. Those lights going on and off quicker than those dodgy fairy lights to get down the market. And he's really picking up the pace now. It's looking close. Come on. He's getting into this now. He's rocking. 41 halfway through. Angela had 44 at this point. Seems only a fraction behind. This score is going to be close. Just 10 seconds left, 18 to get. Come on, sir. 85, 86, 87. And that's it, very close. You lot. Look at that. 87. 87. 87. Too short. What went wrong? Uh, she got lucky. She <laughs> was. You got bitten by Hobby City and a, and a girl. Thank you, Mr. Lester. Well, Nick, Neil Brighton, let's see who's taken that crucial first step towards Orlando. That was nail biting stuff. Sly was quick, but not just quick enough. Walford yet to score, but thanks to Angela, Holby City have notched up the first point. <laughs> that could make all the difference when we come to the decider already. Orlando is a little bit closer. Angela, you did them proud, pet. There are four challenges left, and four of you left to choose from. Mitch, tell us about challenge two. Challenge two is wine tasting. Our chosen friends will be taught to identify six different red wines. They'll then go head to head where they'll have to recognize five of the six wines they've learnt about. Cheers. Wine tasting, so teams, who's got the most discerning palate? Or is it a bit more of a question of who fancies a quick snifter? <laughs> teams, put your faith in a friend. <laughs> So, okay, challenge two, we can make it up. Yeah. Wine tasting. Who are we going for? Which hand? Hand? <laughs> do you have uh, lots lot of experience in the old wine tasting? No, but I have a very discerning palate. Oh, do you? Yes. How do you know that then? Yeah, Matt, I can tell the difference between red and white wine. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, can't you do it then? Yes. Yeah, She's she got the experience, knows the difference between the red and the white. I'm positive about yeah? this one. I've got one question. 
Who's looking after Ian Kids off? She's got to go back and practice this wine thing. Ian, for a change. There, good. And about <laughs> time, too. Yeah. Little yeah. waste, eh? Right. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's hear it, Anna. <laughs> do you know what? I think they're a bit rattled. I do. I think they're yeah. definitely rattled. I think they're rattled. <laughs> <laughs> Who have we gone for for wine tasting? We've decided oh, to go for the little bird, the little Faulkner bird here. <laughs> Me. Faulkner? Yeah. Why have we gone for Lisa? Because she'd be it. useless at anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Is she the weakest thing? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the perfect game for the perfect little bird. No. <laughs> we, we think Lisa is the one yeah. to take us two points into the lead. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Very confident yeah. indeed. It's a good challenge. Let's hear it for both Lisa and Hannah. Yeah. Okay, Vino Connors, Hannah and Lisa, please take up your challenge. Surgeon, then, in the show? Yeah. Is that fun? It is fun, but I've actually been moved to paediatrics now. Oh, really? Yeah. How are you with doing the, the kind of surgery? I mean, I know you don't have to perform it, but I, I watch and I'm like that. God, I could never do it. Well, we, do have to, we did have to learn how to do stitches and everything. So we, we learned on pig's ears. No. And we all learned how to do it and how to sew Stop up pig's ears. Stop your fears. Do you feel fed? <laughs> seriously? No, yeah, seriously, we did. Oh, I don't, I don't think I can do it. It's only the smell. It's all clear. Oh! Why would you smell? Bacon. So, any wine tasting for Lisa? <laughs> so, uh, researching for the part of looking up at Ian's <clears throat> kids, did you have to stitch any pig's ears up or anything like that? Or was it all right? A few children's knees. And right, stuff. I don't know. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, well, it was the paediatric thing, wasn't it? It's mm. a little, little tie in there. Well, good luck to the period, and let's meet the man who'll be teaching you. Please welcome Mr. Matthew Jukes. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. Welcome back. Now, Matthew, you're going to be teaching them to identify six different red wines this That's evening. That's right, yeah. Why did you choose these six in particular? Because they're quite juicy, quite sort of rich, quite heavy wines mm. in general, so you can really get your chops around them. Mm. Any tips you can just tell us now before you take them off into some back room somewhere? They've, they've, got to, they've got to pay attention to the nose today. Today's right. a nosing okay. day. Well, guys, you'll be learning about some rather more classy vintages than some you'll find in the Queen Vic. Let's hear it for Lisa, Hannah and Mr. Matthew Dukes, everybody. <laughs> so, just three left to choose from. Nicola, Jeremy and Anna for Holby City. And Natalie, Charlie and James for EastEnders. Challenge three could make all the difference. Mitch, give us the lowdown. Challenge three is Pyramid. The player's task is to make this pyramid by fitting together these four identical blocks. This challenge is a test of logic and spatial awareness. And the player who manages to complete their pyramid in the fastest time wins. So that's challenge three. Who's going to make it 2-0 for Holby? And who's going to level it off for EastEnders teams? Put your faith in a friend. Challenge three. Three left to choose from. Who have we gone for? Captain? I want to go, but I can't, so... <laughs> <laughs> I've allowed someone else to go. Uh, Anna. Anna? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Why, Anna? Because I want to, yeah. Here. Mm. You fancy this one? No, well, she reckons she's spatially aware. I'm spatially aware, yeah. Right. Latched onto that. Right. Yeah, I think I'm spatially aware. And logic. Yeah. <laughs> logical. <laughs> and logical. logical. Yeah. No, I'm quite fussy and quite, you know, sort of anal. Right. So I think it might suit me mixing right. things about and tidying them up and stuff and getting them in order. Who, who wouldn't you have gone for? Well, Jess really, really didn't want to do it. Uh, <laughs> That's not actually true. Oh, oh, I'm well, sorry. That's not I actually true. First, then. Yeah, you, the first thing you said was, I really don't want to yeah, do it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Is it the case, are you, are you keeping Jez because he's the only male? <laughs> on the team, are you keeping him? As a... no. Excuse me? No. <laughs> oh, because that would make him special. No. <laughs> no, come on, let's be honest. No. Let's be honest. Yeah, we are keeping him in reserve. <laughs> <laughs> He's the weak link. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Anna over here. Ah, have you? Yes, we have. Good for you. <laughs> Who we got for? He's us this one. We need a point now. 
Nutley! Now, Pyramid, bit of a brainy one. Did you pick her because she's the brainiest of the bunch? No, it's also she wants to stretch her mind. She's going through that phase. Oh, really? Yeah, she's going through that phase. Can I be honest with you, please, Anne? You can, you can be very honest with me. I'm really nervous. This. You're not, are you? Yeah. Why? Because like I can't look at it. <laughs> no, you can do it. You've got to have confidence in yourself. Oh, I have. No, I'm going to have a go. We've all got, we've I got confidence in it. I used to do those it. things. Do you remember those little things where it was a picture and it was all jumbled up? Oh, and then you yeah, slid, slid back. How good were you at that? I was really good at those. Well, I was, I was, oh, you'll be all right then. Well, it's, it's sort of like that. I mean, <laughs> it's like that. In the, it's like that in the fact that. Oh, listen to them. <laughs> yeah, they're just winding you up. Here you're all. Rah! I'm scared. Sorry. <laughs> so there you are. We've got Anna and we've got Natalie. Yeah! Okay, now it's the East Enders turn to go first. So Natty, Natalie, don't be nervous. Come on, take up your challenge. Right, here we are. Don't rush into it. Take your time. Right, have a good look at it. Time. And you'll work it out, OK? okay. All right. Thank good you luck. Thank you very much. You can start after the third beep. Here come the beeps. <laughs> so, same as always, four identical shapes go together to make a pyramid. And you don't see many pyramids in Albert Square. Shut up! Oh, temperamental actress. <laughs> Calm down, Natalie. Deep breaths. Taking my time. Yeah, take your time. Taking my time. But not too much. James, you've got to help me. I don't think it'd be an awful lot of use, Natalie. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, you can. Ah! So out of place, Natalie. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on! That's right, I know that's right. Hang on. Uh, is it? Is that right? Do you think that's right, everyone? Help me. Mm, no. But well, you got one bit, right? Okay. All right, okay, okay. Okay. Go on, go on. Yes, yes, yes. Go! Yes! 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 Now that's right. I think we've won this one. <laughs> that's sweet. Only one more bit to go. Get like that. I can't even do this! <laughs> it looks like it's in Just put it behind it. it look... Great advice. Just put it behind it. And there's one pyramid beautifully constructed. It is tough, this one. You're stressing out a bit there, in yeah. the end, weren't you? Yeah. Now, it took you quite a while to get it together. Yeah. Once you got two, though, these last two bits, they won them really easily. Yeah, they was fine. They that were all right, weren't they? Yeah. Do you think the time that you'd done was good enough to beat Holby City? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know! Yes, <laughs> You never know, you can still get this point. You can still get this point. <laughs> Let's hear what Natalie got around the floor and do something. Well done, Natalie. You did that in under two minutes. OK, Holby City, we need to, uh, well, resuscitate you now. Anna, off for the blindfold, please. Uh, the time to meet is one minute, 48 seconds, so please take up your challenge. <laughs> well, this is it. Mm -hmm. Pyramid, <laughs> you look like a rabbit caught in some headlights. <laughs> you're, not, you're not scared, are you? No. <laughs> you're gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. You're gonna be. You're gonna be <laughs> All really right. good. Good luck to you. Okay. That's what you're trying to make down there. Oh yeah. Best of luck to you, Anna. Here okay. come the beeps. Right. Come on, Anna. So 1:48 was Natalie's time. The clock is counting down from there. It's not as bad a time as the East Enders seem to think. So you can't hang around, Anna. What fits where? Mm -hmm. 
That's it. Bring that one. Right. No, that was Move it! <laughs> Excellent advice from Jeremy. Move it! Why didn't you think of that? No, it's not happening, is it? <laughs> I'm afraid it is, and you've just got over a minute left. Unlike the NHS, no You're waiting not around my here. Team. Why would I do that? That's it, you did. Put that one on yeah. there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Now, Anna, we're getting somewhere. You're halfway through. Come on! That looks good to me. Yes. 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 Now just stick it in, as they say, and she's yes. done it. Well done, Anna. How's it affected the scores? OK, deck character building stuff. That East End is still yet to score, but the story could all change, because it doesn't soak plots. Thanks to Anna's dab hands, Holby City have two points. <laughs> that lead now and put a bit of daylight between you and the EastEnders lot. As for you though, EastEnders, you need to hit the comeback trail and pretty sharp as Orlando's still there for the taking, but you mustn't let them go too far ahead. Now then, I think it's about time we found out about challenge number four. Mitch. Challenge four is not module. Our players are each strapped into a harness, which is suspended in the middle of these frames by a series of specially tied knots. These knots are absolutely identical for both players and have been tied and checked by Bryony Percy of the Royal Yachting Association's Olympic Development Squad. Whoever frees themselves first wins the point. Well, there you are, teams. That's the challenge just James and Charlie to choose from for the EastEnders. And Nicola and Jeremy for Holby. Teams, faith in a friend. <laughs> Who are we going for? Not module then. Who's going to start the winning for these standards? It's going to be Charlie. Charlie! Oh, yeah. You've been the quiet one so far. I know, I'm not usually, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> now she's going to do it for you, do you reckon? She's going to do this. Yeah. Definitely. Give it my best shot. She's got small, she's got little tiny hands. Little tiny hands. Whole... Ah, nimble fingers. That's right. Actually, let's have a look at your very fingers small, there. Very small hands. Very small, very, very nimble. Very bitten nails as well. She yeah. works in the calf with loads of plates and forks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That'll help her with untied ropes and, and, and stuff. Like oh, yeah, so. No, but we need this point. <laughs> we need this point. I'm going to ask all of you, is Charlie the girl to get the first point for her? Yeah. Yeah. The winning starts Hello. right now, Declan. Right now. Whatever. <laughs> so, Jez and Nicola left. Who have we gone for? We've decided to go for little nimble fingers, Nick. Nick. That's nice. what we call her. Nimble fingers. <laughs> Always. That, that... All the time. Is that a nickname? He's board. got strong <laughs> little fingers. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to do the, the bashing lights thing, but they said I wasn't big enough. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> so you were stuck no, from doing that? No, we got told, right, that, that like, you know, basically blocks. <laughs> blocks are quite good at that. Right. And I'm the nearest we've got to a block, other than Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! That's <laughs> Yes. That's right. Don't worry, I'll take it in my stride. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Nicola and Charlie. Give them both a big hand. Okay, Holby are battling against Wilford head to head in not module. So Nicola and Charlie, please take up your challenge. <laughs> Nicola, so it's all down to you now. Yeah. They're relying on you to get, get out the knots. Yeah. I've got every faith in you. I think you can do it. I really do. 
I think we could put it out of reach. I think we could put this all out of reach if you're okay. doing really well here. Good luck, Nicola. Thank you very much. See, no, I disagree. We disagree on this one, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. <laughs> We're going to do it now, aren't we, Charlie? I yeah. hope so. <laughs> Thank Pop you. them on, we don't want any ropes flying back and hit me in the eye. Okay. Good luck to the Perriers. Whoever gets out of their not module first <laughs> wins the vital point for the team. We start after the third beep. Here come the beeps. So not modular, straight race, the fastest fingers will win it in the end. And Nicholas off the mark straight away while Charlie is battling with the now famous Not From Hell. He won't have the same knot, so Nicholas got the one to come. But she's piling through the others. Nicholas threw up. Charlie's finally through. Charlie's just about through. The race is now on. Oh, she's catching up now. Another one for Holby. She's holding up the loads of support. And it's helping. She's almost level. Holby's staying a couple ahead, but it's the difficult one to come now. Naughty problem, Charlie, only one behind now. Lots of squeaking and squawking going on. And that's it for Hobby. Oh, no, it's not here for Hobby. One left. Two for Charlie. And so on, the nickel is out. Well done. I knew there was something holding Charlie up. It's a knot. You're still attached. You run out like you run out. Yeah, we are. Well, we can pick it back up, can't we? Yes. Yes? We can. Hey, that was fantastic. You were great. You were really, really good. What was it like? Um, this one at the front was really fiddly. Oh, was that the toughest yeah. one? Did you see me swear? No, <laughs> so, but we'll be looking out for it. A little bit. Was that, was that the toughest one? Uh, yeah, and then of course I forgot I, there was one I hadn't done. You did yeah. that as well. I did that <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> Give them both a big hand. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what it's done to the scores. Good job we got a drinking game next. EastEnders really needs a score. Still on nil point, EastEnders. But after that, uh, finger picking my Nicola. Hold B, hold B, hold B. Three points. Excellent stuff. Well, the time has come. Please welcome back Lisa, Hannah, and Matthew Jukes. Well, now's the time we put what you've learned to the test. The first wine we want you to identify is the Val Policella. There you are, use your like boxes there. Checking the colour. Stick the old nose in. We've got an answer over here. I think. Yeah? Yeah. That one you want to go for? Definitely. Yeah, I want to go for that one. Yeah? OK, I've got an answer over here as well. Matthew, what should you have been looking for in this particular wine? The Val Popicella mm. has um, quite a light colour. It has cherries on the nose, sort of sweet and sour palate, nice refreshing acidity, sort of Italian sort of cafe-style wine. You should be able to spot this. Mm. Right, well, what do you reckon? It was in glass 
number three. We also think it's in glass three. Matthew? It was in glass number three. <laughs> You can, you can stop the kissing, it's not over no, yet. We've got more to identify. No, we're so relieved you don't understand how hard it is. It's really, it's really hard. Get anything. Well done. Right. Righty ho then, second wine. <laughs> Ladies, it's the Shiraz. Oh, oh God, oh. right. Oh. Okay. Oh. Easy. Oh. Calm down. Right? Oh, got an answer over here. <clears throat> yeah, I've got an answer. So, the Shiraz, they both seem pretty confident. Mackie, what are they looking for? Yeah, that was quite a quick one, wasn't it? Mm. Um, the Shiraz is inky black colour, purple tinges, enormous weight and power. It's got a sort of eucalyptus y sort of nose. They should get it on colour, on weight and palette alone. Right, well, we've gone for this one. We think the Shiraz <coughs> is in glass number one. Well, Lisa has also gone for glass one. Matthew? Glass number one. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> well done, two down, two <laughs> identified correctly. The third one is the Beaujolais. Oh. Needed to find the Beaujolais. We've got an answer over here. Okay. <laughs> We've got an answer here as well. Matthew, Beaujolais. The Beaujolais is 100% strawberries and raspberries and fresh fruit, and it's quite light on the palate as well. The finish is quite nice. You don't really need food with it. It's a sort of um, in the garden, summer quaffing style. Right. You got it? Got this one as well? Not, um, but, uh, slightly insecure between two, but hopefully. We've got <laughs> this one. We think the Beaujolais. Was in glass number four. Lisa also thinks it's in glass four. <laughs> Nothing between them. Nothing between them. Matthew, where was the Beaujolais? They're both right. It was in glass <laughs> four. Hey! <laughs> well done. The fourth one we need to identify is the Cabernet Sauvignon. Right. Okay. Just, um... Right, straight away. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. oh. I'm getting Just all nervous. Just stop this before now. I said it. Have a good. I'm going to put these down. Yeah, yeah. Put Have a thing. Down. Come back to us. I'm getting all nervous. It's, I know it's really obvious. Right. We've done the Shiraz, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. We've got an answer over here. Agreed. Okay, got an answer two. Matthew, the Cabernet Sauvignon, is that right? Cabernet Sauvignon. Right. This time it's black currants, ribena y sort of nose to it. The palate, quite rich, quite powerful. This sort of Sunday lunch type wine, need a nice bit of roast beef for this. Right. But a big wine, but not as big as the Shiraz that you mentioned. Right. So. Okay, right. What's wrong? I'm really scared. So <laughs> You're giggling there. I'm You're not. doing brilliantly. It's nervous giggles. Is it? Yeah. Here we go then. Go the Cabernet Sauvignon. Hannah thinks was in glass number five. Lisa also thinks glass five. Matthew, where's, where was the Cabernet Sauvignon? It was in glass number five. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so well. I told you. Fantastic. So just one glass left then, and of the six wines you've learned about, you haven't yet had the Zinfandel or the Malbec. Get into glass two and find out which one of those two is in there. Okay, I'll uh, test. That's 
Happy? That's, yeah. We've gone for it straight away. Yeah, take me a bit longer, sorry. That's all right, you take your time. Crucial point, this for us. Right, I know. You take your time, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay the Zinfandel and the Malbec, Matthew. What were we looking for then, Boo? Zinfandel from California. Very juicy, smooth, supple, velvety sort of fruit. Medium depth to the colour. Malbec, totally opposite. Smells very austere, earthy, and sort of rubbery almost. Um, it's got a very dry finish. So it's, you would have noticed the difference on the back of the palette. Juiciness, Zinfandel, dryness, Malbec. Right, we think in the last glass, the red one was Zinfandel. <laughs> <laughs> she has it, has she? Zinfandel. <laughs> Matthew. Hold on. Don't know if you got it right, Matthew, yeah? They might be both wrong. <laughs> Matthew, what was in glass two? It was the Zimpner. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> oh, Ladies and gentlemen, keep your applause going for our wine expert, Mr. Matthew Dukes. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Well done. He's both done extremely well. Yeah. He was a good teacher, but mm. hi, it takes good pupils as well, doesn't well, it? Yeah, Let's hear it for Lisa. Yeah. Anna, yeah. <laughs> well, Mitch, lots of wine taste going on there. I think he's tenders a pull one back. Am I right? I think you might be right, and they both know their onions and their wine. Hannah's got the first point on the board for the EastEnders. Well done, Hannah, but Lisa also gets the point. Harvey City now in four. Now then, there's only one of you left on each team who hasn't been chosen yet. That's Jeremy and James. Let's hope you've kept your coolest play at last, because it's all hanging on this final challenge. The pressure is really on now. Indeed, Jeremy and James, would you please take up your challenge? <laughs> Sitting there on the sidelines watching the rest of the team do not so well. Apart from Manor, she done very well. I've been scared as hell, so true. <laughs> Seriously, I've been shaking off, really, yeah. It is quite nerve wracking when you get down it here. It is, yeah. It all depends on you. For the pride of Walford. Jess. Yeah. Back. Last man standing now. Oh, yeah. Only man on the team. I know, yeah. How's that been? Um, it's been, I've practically lost my voice because I've been shouting so much for the, for the girls. We've all done fantastically well. Do you feel more or less pressure being 4-1 up? I'd rather be standing here than where he is. Yeah. <laughs> the decider. Mitch, what is it? Well, take the all-important decider is target ball. Jeremy and James take it in turns to bowl into a circular target. They each have five goes, and each ball that comes to rest within the circle adds one point to their team's final score. Whoever has the most points at the end of the decider has won that trip to Orlando for their chosen charity. Each fifth ball, get scoring, my man. Good luck, James. Off you go. Hold on. Good one. Oh, is it? Oh, That's it! Oh. It's touching blue, oh, it's touching blue, so unfortunately it's out, I'm afraid. Oh, That's all right though, we've come back off. from that. A let off, Jez. I know, yeah. A let off. No worries. Step up and do it, good stuff. Go on, lots of encouragement, Holden. Oh, A good shot. If you miss this, then Holby have won. Yeah. It's as simple as that. The pressure's on you now. Now you've got to pull the shot of a lifetime out of the bag. This to stay in the game. Come on, James. You can do it. <laughs> no. Oh! No! <laughs> Brighton 
down, fine, down. Now then. Holland's better, I think. <laughs> Indeed, James. <laughs> East End, there's bad luck. Bad luck, you played really well, but you didn't quite make it. But thanks to your efforts, the kids from the Children's Country Holiday Fund will be going here. Yeah, the kids are sailing off to Grand Dorado, Port Salander in Holland for a week of non-stop laughs. They'll be doing all this, and they're right next door to Europe's biggest theme park, and they're going to love it. Give it up for James and the rest of the East End. As for you, Holby, well done, you've done it. <laughs> you've won your charity that once-in-a-lifetime trip to Orlando. Let's remind ourselves of just how good it actually is. Take a look at this. Yeah, look at this. Destination Imagination Orlando. You can splash down, turn round, stand up, take off again and again. In fact, as often as you like in the fun-filled kids' adventure capital of the USA. OK, you've got them there, but how special can you make it, Holby City? It's up to you. Yes, guys, it really is up to you because playing as a team so far, you've got them to Orlando, Florida. Now, you each have the chance to add one extra prize to that already quite amazing package. Mitch, explain tonight's rules. Well, you must make each nominate the team member you think knows you best. They'll select a question about you at random. If their answer matches yours, we'll add a special feature to that fantastic holiday. If the answers don't match, unfortunately, we won't. The pressure is on you to choose the right teammate to answer, and the pressure is on them to get it right. So that's how it works. The chairs are all white at the minute. If the mate you nominate matches the answer you give, your chair will stay white, and that means your charity's holiday has just got even better. But if they get it wrong, your chair will turn red, which means, unfortunately, it's still amazing, but not quite as amazing as it could have been. So ideally, we want to keep all of those chairs white tonight, just like that. All you have to remember is, if the light stays white, then the answer is right, and the perfect holiday could be within sight. <laughs> 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 uh, Angela, you're going to go first. Would you like to choose a mate to decide your fate? Go on, Lisa. Angela, come and join me. Lisa, off you go and join Ant. <laughs> come on, there. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little, little bit tipsy? <laughs> Not scared at all. No? It's quite nerve-wracking, this bit, isn't it? Uh? Yeah, it's really nerve-wracking. We're playing for a pirate adventure theme night. Right. If your answer matches the same, as Angela's over there, then they get to go on that as well. OK. Can we have Angela's questions, please? There we are, five questions. Pick one, pass it to me. Here we go. Angela's party trick is being able to fit something in her mouth. What is it? I Mitch, know. what are the options? Oh, the options are these. Can she fit into her mouth a whole can of fizzy drink? Ten chocolate bars or a whole orange? So there we are, you had the options. The question was, Angela's party trick is being able to fit something in her mouth. Lisa reckons hmm. she can fit a can of drink in there. It's a can of drink! Yeah! <laughs> so Lisa, your turn now. Choose a mate to decide your fate. It's gonna be Nicola. Lisa, come and join me. Nicola, off you go and join Ant. <laughs> I thought you can do as well as you did on the not module before. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> OK, can we have Lisa's questions, please? Pick one, pass it to me. <clears throat> that one, OK. Mm -hmm. We're playing for the, a fantastic day out at the Wet n Wild Aqua Park. Cool. That'll be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Fancy that with yourself, don't you? <laughs> Here we are, the question, Lisa's question for your Wet n Wild trip is... Lisa was once in a pop video. Whose was it? So, Nicola's options are a pop video by Duran Duran. Was it Boy George? Or maybe a video by Young Guns Wham? OK, well, here we are. This for the Wet n Wild Aqua Park trip. The question was, Lisa was once in a pop video. Whose pop video was it? Nicola yeah. thinks. It's Boy George! It is Boy George! Yeah! <laughs> well done, Nicola. Well done, Lisa. Two lights white. We've got two extra prizes on top. That's what we like. Nicola, over to you, though, now. Choose a mate to decide um, your fate and make it great. <laughs> OK. 
Ella Pendula. <laughs> okay, we're playing for now a trip to the Kennedy Space Centre. Mm. Sounds good, that one, doesn't it? Does it? Sound very to add good. to the holiday. It does. Can we have Nicholas questions, please? There we are. It's so cool. Do you like that? Yeah. Like Superman, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Nicola's question is, where's the strangest place Nicola has ever been asked for her autograph? And here's the options. Was it on a driving lesson at the top of the Eiffel Tower, or was it at a swimming pool? Right. Angela thinks it's top of the Eiffel Tower. <gasps> it was the Eiffel Tower! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, over to you now. Would you like to choose a mate to make this holiday even more great? I'm going to choose Jez. Anna, come and join me. Jez, off you go and join Ant. <laughs> this time you're playing for a trip to SeaWorld. Can we have... Love oh, SeaWorld. yeah? I'm afraid you're not going. <laughs> no, it's I still know, a good trip. I still love it. Yeah. It's still a good trip. <laughs> There's a question. Pick one, pass it to me. All right. It's wicked. The question is, which of the following facts about Anna is not true? Which one isn't true? Yeah. Which one's oh, false? no. Which one isn't true? <laughs> I thought I had true? it. I thought I know that one. I know she's done that. Oh, which is the false one? So, Jess's options are these. Has Anna been in a film with Michael Caine in a dance competition with Catherine Zeta-Jones? Or has she trained as a trapeze artist? Remember, which one is false? <laughs> it has to be that. Has to be. Yeah. Which, which was the one you knew for a fact, by the way? I knew she'd been in a film with Michael Caine. So that one's out of the picture? Yeah. OK, the question again was, which of the following facts about Anna is not true? This for that other trip to add to the amazing holiday. Let's make it even more amazing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she never trained as a Trapeze artist. Of course she didn't. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you've won four out of the five so far already tonight, which is really good news. It's just down to Jez now. Oh, Jez. Okay. <laughs> Last man standing once again, Jez, the pressure oh all on you once more. Choose a mate to make this holiday even more great. Well, the pressure actually gave me on Anna this time. Well, let's oh. throw it back at her. You're right. Come and join me, Jez. Anna, off you go and join Ant. Oh, now then, what are you playing for now to add to that holiday is a trip to Universal Studios Orlando! It's a nice one, isn't it? I'd like to get this one for the kids. Yes, we'd like to yeah. get this one. All right. Can we have Jess's questions, please? There we are. Thank you very much. This for the last trip. Jeremy's question is, which of the following jobs did Jeremy not have before he became an actor? And the options are... Did he wash up in a post office canteen? Did he work as a carpet fitter? Or did he deliver hamburgers on roller skates? I'm not sure. Do you want to change it? No. Go for it? Yeah. All right. The one we think he didn't have for the last trip. <laughs> to add to that Do holiday. It. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a carpet fitter. He wasn't, you know. Yeah! Teams, and thanks to you for watching. We'll see you next time on Friends Like These. Good night! Good night. And you can catch the casts in their day jobs in the next hour and a half here on BBC One. Martin and Sonia on less friendly terms next in EastEnders, and then it takes a painful moral dilemma at Holby City.